Hello everybody, this is Marco Zecchini speaking and uh, uh, our lecture today is an ensemble class. It's an ensemble class about uh, the integration among IoT and blockchain technologies. Uh, we are going to see how to um, essentially write or send transaction to a blockchain and uh, we will see how to integrate uh, these, uh, these data structures, these networks uh, with our um, knowledge uh, about uh, IoT, okay, and we will see also how uh, we will see um, several use case scenario, real use case scenario, and uh, we will mostly focus on about uh, two technologies. One is Algorand, uh, which is a classic blockchain. Actually, uh, is a proof of stake blockchain, and the other uh, technology we are going to explore uh, is IOTA. And um, okay, first uh, I know that uh, in the previous lecture you should have seen what uh, a blockchain is. Anyway, a brief recap uh, should be given. Essentially, a, a blockchain is a um, distributed ledger uh, which uh, cannot be corrupted because everybody, every node that participates into this P2P network has um, as a copy of the ledger. It's a uh, total decentralized technology because and because there is no uh, central um, entity or governing uh, uh, authority that um, that can uh, can uh, can uh, yes govern it or change it as he wants and um, so it's um, since it's a tamper proof data structure is it's a data structured high, highly security targeted. So it means it means that uh, yeah of course uh, you you can uh, achieve a very high level of security for so also using uh, encryption like it's written here in the in the, in the slide and um, the core of blockchains actually is the consensus algorithm which is a uh, um, really really important because it uh, it um, influences the scalability and, um, and the performance of the of the of the blockchain and the, mo the most known consensus algorithm is a um, is proof of work uh, which is uh, was invented was created uh, more than 10 years ago in 2009 by Satoshi Nakatomo um, uh, where uh, each uh, node participating to the network, uh, in order to add a new block to the chain, needs to compute have to, comp has to compute um, a challenge uh, that he has to the um, and needs to compute this challenge. And uh, when uh, if he solves it, he can add uh, a new set of transactions within a block and uh, uh, broadcast this block to the to the peer to peer network. And uh, in this way, we can achieve consensus among uh, in these peer-to-peer -peer networks. You may know that uh, anyway, blockchain technology um, has scalability issues because of this reason, actually, because of proof of work, a consensus algorithm for 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 the high for um, this is the main reason why there's this scalability issue. And thus, um, um, in, in the in the blockchain community, is there is this very well known three lemma, which claims that um, in uh, in uh, in uh, for a blockchain technology, you can achieve you can achieve two uh, out of these three uh, two of these three um, uh, feature for your blockchain. Uh, which are scalability, security, and decentralization. As I said, uh, proof of work has scalability issues, so um, many consensus algorithms uh, uh, or, uh, and does some and does many blockchains are based on proof of work or similar uh, algorithms. Does they have scalability issues? Do, does they, their throughputs in terms of, uh, of of transactions per second is is about 10 to 15 transactions per second, uh, which compared to the centralized system is a very poor result. Um, 
another um, issue is related with security. Um, uh, um, yeah, in fact, um, another things that um, it, that suffers uh, Bitcoin and also Ethereum blockchains are the, for example, are fifty one percent attack or thirty three percent attack, which essentially it um, it's based on the fact that if you can control if a, if a set of user or if a user can control the fifty one percent of computational power within the network he will be able to um, to uh, crack the system essentially and thus he can change the blockchain and the integrity that the blockchain guarantees because of its replication and uh, of its um, its um, well anyway it's not guaranteed anymore okay and um, Mm. this is a problem this is uh, the second problem that we are facing so first uh, we have security we have scalability and um, finally there is decentralization uh, decentralization um, actually okay um, nowadays um, proof of work blockchains for example for instance once again bitcoin uh, are controlled by um, few pools of uh, of peer nodes that com that cooperate among themselves to uh, to compute the, the the next block. Does it means that most of the of the of the um, of the um, por por probability of the, the the highest probability to compute the next block? Uh, it's uh, it's um, it's proportional to the to their um, to these um, 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 to the fact that uh, uh, most of the computational power is uh, concentrated in the just few no just few set of nodes or, or nodes and thus it means that they can achieve uh, once again the first first uh, for the fifty one percent attack. Another consensus algorithm that was supposed to be the alternative to, to proof of work in order to, uh, to, to, to solve scalability, for example, because it's way faster, it's delicate proof of stake. Where uh, that where and on this algorithm, uh, several blockchains are based on, like for example, EOS, NEO, and so on and so forth. And um, they were essentially in this consensus algorithm. Each node, uh, you know, each, each um, there is there is a commission of several verifiers that are delegated by the the, the, the network that does not change much. That um, choose um, the next block. Okay. It's essentially like uh, think about it about like a parliament, okay? The Italian parliament. You vote for 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 a party, so you vote for someone in the network, and does it has the 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 the, the power to vote for the next block uh, um, proportionally to the vote he has received, okay? And in this case, the votes are is the stake, uh, in the stake is the the the, the amount of money. That each um, um, that each node possess, okay, uh, that each account possess. So I delegate my stake to some nodes, which in this uh, like a parliament of uh, of verifiers will choose the next node, uh, the next block. So as you can see, this is um, a a form of centralization of the power because. Uh, um, the, 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 the delegated will uh, be rewards for their job so they will acquire more and more money and so they will probably remain uh, indefinitely uh, the, 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 the peers uh, coordinating the network a technology um, that claims to solve this trilemma is Algorand that's why I, cho I chose it okay uh, this this story that I told you up now was ready to introduce Hargrand. Hargrand is a technology that claims to solve this trilemma. It's um, 
it was created by Silvio Micali, which is a, a Turing Award um, winner. Uh, so it's, it's a very brilliant researcher, and um, it is based on a different consensus algorithm. The consensus algorithm, uh, which uh, we are we talking about, it's pure proof of stake. They call it like this. And this is um, highly based on the um, of a, on a random selection of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of a committee, okay, through these verifiable random functions, and uh, that uh, allow to easily create a committee that will uh, uh, that will choose the, uh, the the next blocks. Let's see a bit how this is works, and it essentially um, every node that participates to the network actively um, runs a lottery, and he wins all this lottery according to the um, stake that he has committed for uh, for for, for uh, to to the network for for being selected. Um, so once uh, I uh, I run this luxury, I know if I am selected or not, and I have a proof that I can propagate to the network. And this proof, and with this proof, everybody knows that uh, I am participating to the network. Okay, and this lottery is based on some pseudo randomic. Uh, it's based on some pseudo randomic. Uh, Algorithm that runs so uh, this election will be, as I said, proportional to the stake they have committed, but uh, but random. Okay, but and the, it is easy to to verify. This is the the the, the great in innovation that they they have created. So from this point on, there is a um, there is a committee that is selected that can that with the other um, nodes that are selected within the committee. Um, prop, um, choose the the blocks, okay, and then we go through several, as you can see, uh, through several um, rounds of a vote, and um, at the end of these rounds, you can, uh, if you want, you can study it uh, a bit more in, in the links that I have I've gi I've given to you. And uh, at the end of this of this um, of this agreement, they will produce a new block that will be added to the blockchain. And this is um, a great improvement because it speeds up a lot the performance of our network, of our blockchain, and it uh, the, the the throughput in terms of, of blockchains uh, of uh, transactions per second is higher. It's much higher. And um, that's why uh, its integration with IoT uh, could make um, sense because uh, IoT technologies produce, uh, uh, as you notice uh, during the course, a lot of data. And um, having a blockchain that handles them, that is that it's slow, that uh, adds this this information slowly to the chain. It, it's a, a, a bottleneck that uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's hard to that that will make hard to us for us to to make um, to build um, application based on blockchain, both on blockchain and IoT. Anyway, with Algorand, it seems to be possible. And um, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, we. Anyway, I encourage you to 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 check uh, Algorand documentation if you want to understand better what Algorand is. And uh, anyway, um, I, I hope that I've given you a, a, a good expl explanation and um, uh, of what it is. If you have any problem in understanding it, contact me. Uh, anyway. Um, okay, in the first tutorial, we will see how to send a transaction uh, to the Algorand network. Okay, and we will uh, follow this tutorial. I close some of this 
pages. Okay, this is the transaction we are going to um, follow. I actually encourage you to um, try. Okay, maybe this this first uh, transact this first. Um, Mm, no, okay, okay. You, I encourage you to try to do this uh, this tutorial by yourself, and uh, after that we have seen it together, uh, we uh, can um, you. So we're gonna we're gonna read it, this page together, and um, then I encourage you to try to implement this. Uh, uh, this tutorial and uh, I will pause the, vi pause the video and then when I will resume it I will give you the solution um, okay okay um, in order to send a transaction with uh, with uh, with Algorand you need first to um, you need first to create an account an account essentially is uh, it's uh, a pairs of private and public key Algorand uh, compatible private and public keys, um, and then you need to found uh, this public address with algos, which are um, the the money, um, the cryptocurrency of Algorand. Maybe a, you don't know what uh, how 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 cryptocurrency is works, but essentially, uh, I, I assume I I suppose that you have heard about. Um, miners, the terms the terms miners for bitcoins and so on. Um, it it means that when you solve or you partic or you take takes part to the consensus algorithm, okay, or you solve the proof of work, you will you are rewarded for the the work that you have done, okay. Um, the way you are rewarded is uh, by um, receiving. Um, as uh, a number of cryptocurrency of that particular blockchain, okay. For Algorand, Algos is the uh, cryptocurrency of Algorand, okay. Okay, as I said, the first thing to do is to uh, generate a public key and private key, uh, public and private key pair. You need to um, import this uh, this packet here that you need to install uh, that should be here explain how anyway you should um, no it's um, it should be here you need to install the um, SDK of Algorand for JavaScript just through this uh, this command here of, of for Node.js uh, okay, and you will import it into your script, and you in this tutorial it generates this uh, this uh, this function where you create an account that it generates uh, it returns two keys, the public and the private key, to this account, and you will uh, mm, mm. Uh, in this account yes, in this example it shows you how to. Um, transform your secret key into a mnemonic key. Uh, that means that these are a mnemonic key is a, a set of uh, of words which are easier to remember for 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 human for human people. That that can resolve uh, a secret key. So once you have a, a mnemonic key, uh, which is as I said a set of words. You uh, pass them to the um, to a function like this, and it will create it will solve your secret key, starting from your mnemonic key, and from your secret key, he, he will solve also your public key. Okay, and, uh, and then it prints your passphrase and address. Okay, passphrase is your mnemonic key. Okay, and then you need what's found. In Algorand, you are not um, you are not uh, able to, to 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 your account is not active if you don't have at least uh, a sub, a certain quantity of uh, of algos, which should be one thousand hundred micro algos actually. 
and you can refund your account um, just going to this uh, Algorand testnet dispenser which I also linked in you in the readme of the github and from here you just need to type your um, your public key address your public key which is the address within the, the, the blockchain network and solve this captcha okay uh, maybe you're gonna see that later how to do it it's really easy anyway uh, next thing you need to do is to check your bonds okay and so uh, uh, ah yeah here it's um, a way the way to source from your passphrase of mnemonic key or whatever your secret key this is the function to do it okay um in this way in my account there will be it will be a dictionary that has both the private key and the public key as you can, as you can notice like from here okay then you uh, can print your account information and um you can also uh, and then you can construct your uh, your transaction I've noticed that um, this is okay. This is the way for creating your account. Anyway, you need to connect to a node before uh, retrieving your information from your from uh, from the blockchain. Because here you are retrieving the information from the blockchain with this account. But we will see it later better. Anyway, um, in order to connect to a node, uh, you can do it in several ways, and. Um, you can do it maybe i found it here yes um connecting to an audit necessary because uh, you need to uh, so to have this hard code address and token and the hard code address is the endpoint I, endpoint ip address of uh, rs tpis provided by a node and uh, the access token is the token for acceding uh, this um, these APIs okay and there are three ways that mm, there are three ways that, that you can use for for setting up your 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 node and a first the first option is to use a third-party service and um, that means that you um, connect to an external uh, service that provides you uh, that is actually a, a, a node in the Argonaut network and that you can use to um, to send to send commands to okay and uh, this is the case of pure stake that it's the the, the 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 approach that I'm gonna use in this uh, in this class uh, and it's really easy you need to go to to pure stake you need to create an account okay and uh, you you log in into into your account and here you need to uh, hoping that it works <laughs> uh, it worked and um, here you have several api keys that you need to to copy and to um, you need to copy to generate and but i think it's really easy to do um, uh, you need to generate them uh, i don't know how i can remember how i did it but i think it's really easy anyway if you have problem you can contact me and uh, you can generate this um, and this api key and uh, um, using that api key you can connect to your um, your your node okay and uh, i will show you how uh, maybe it's here somewhere wait yeah maybe okay it's here for connecting to a node oh so that's to the network as it suggests you need to tap here the the, the server um, address the port you want to connect to and the token uh, that um, um, and the token that you need you need to the token a token that i said as, as, as i explained before okay in the case of an external um, 
um, the case of pure stake of or any external node you will have to uh, set your token like this and add here your service api token that you should have copied from your dashboard in pure stake or whatever services you you're going to use i suggest to use uh, pure stake I, I don't know how this actually anyway um once you've done it, uh, you should type this command, which is uh, let Hago client, uh, you need to assign to this Hago client um, this constructor, okay? And this will create a connection with your uh, node. Another, anyway, um, another way to create a, a node or to, to build a node uh, is using, uh, I think that's very easy to do, it's using the, um, the sandbox which is a Docker image that Algorand provided uh, for um, build to for create and configure uh, an Algorand node and start developing. Okay, which is uh, it uses Docker. It uses Docker, but uh, using this this um, this sandbox, it's really really easy. I'm not using it actually because I don't I'm, I don't have a, a good uh, internet connection these days. That's why I'm I'm not using it anyway. Uh, to to start to start the, the network it's really easy you just need to clone these uh, to start the node it's really easy you just need to copy these uh, to clone this git repo to go into the sandbox uh, yeah, going into the in, into the um, the repo directory and then type this command and it will create um, uh, the 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 it will build the, the container and run it okay and, um, and you should and you will use this um, address and this token for your for accessing your node okay and you will add it here okay so in this use this if you have a, if you are using a sandbox use this approach if you are using if you are not using a, a, a sandbox and as you are using a, an external node like um, a pure stake, as I said before, okay. Uh, okay, let's go back to our example, and uh, this is okay. Here we are. Okay, now we have created our um, account. We have connected to to, to the network then yes we can check our balance yes we have seen it actually and then we should con uh, build our transaction uh, building a transaction it's uh, really easy as you can notice you will import from your client that you have just defined but uh, you have to import from your client uh, these um, some parameters which are standard parameters according to the version of the consensus algorithm that uh, it's running among the among the nodes you can type um, whatever you want um, and encoding it uh, in the node field that you will add to the to the transaction and then you will build a transaction like this okay and you will have a from field, uh, which means that your transaction is from a certain uh, address to a certain address, which is another address, okay? And uh, that you can generate uh, once again with this in this way, okay? And you, from your parameters, you will mm, pay the minimum fee possible. It means that whenever you submit a transaction to the network, you need to pay a fee for um, for including this transaction in the next block, and, and this fee will be the part of the award for the validators of the in the consensus algorithm. Okay, mm, it will make sense that higher is your fee. Mm, he, here we're using the minimum fee possible, but higher is your fee, higher uh, will be uh, the probability that um, your transaction will be added in, um, fastly in your in your in, in in the next block. Okay, why? Because if you put a, a fee which is really high, a node a validator will will notice it and will try to include it in the in the next block as soon as he, uh, as he can okay in order to receive this fee okay 
and this is the amount of algo that you want to transfer okay this is uh, as i said uh, um, uh, you go uh, each the, the the algorand consensus algorithm go through several rounds and each rounds as uh, um as a um, as an as each round is numbered, okay, and uh, which in uh, each each round number correspond to the number of the block, of course, and you want that your transaction will be included from this round to this last round. That means that, for example, you want that you see a certain state of the blockchain, and it won't make sense to you to validate this transaction after uh, one thousand blocks because it means that it will be added. Uh, uh, since um, a block uh, is produced uh, each um, three four seconds it means that it will be added into in, in I don't know in one hour or two hours or, or, more, or more and thus it doesn't make sense any for you anymore for for uh, for adding this transaction to the blockchain okay in two paid fee okay this is the node field that we have seen, and these are par and these are parameters that you need to add to the transaction. Okay. Then, uh, once you have to produce your transaction, you need to sign it. Otherwise, your transaction won't be uh, won't be valid. And uh, once, uh, in order to sign your transaction, you need to use uh, uh, this comment here. Algo, algo that's the case. Sign transaction passing to in the transaction that we have just defined. And um, the secret key of my account, okay? Now, uh, we will recover this uh, transaction ID because each, trans each transaction is identified by an hash and which will be the, the ID for that transaction. And we will check and uh, this, as I said, this is the, was the exam. Ah, for submitting, then you need to submit your transaction, and in order to do so, you need to use this function here. Okay, remember to add this blob um, part; otherwise, it won't be added. And you will receive error. Okay. Uh, notice that um, um, if you are using, uh, yes, for this field, if you're using a, um, a third a third party node, okay, you will need to, um, you will have to add this post header, okay, this header here, content type application slash X binary to your, um, uh, send row transaction as an additionally additionally parameter that you pass to uh, the um, to this function okay now uh, now you should you have submitted your transaction and you should wait for uh, your transaction to be committed okay this is a this is a function that argument provides to for waiting and for checking that uh, transaction is added uh, to the blockchain and then you can read this transaction from the blockchain with this code, like with this code here. Okay, looking for transaction for the information for a certain transaction that has this um, address and this ID. Okay, and okay, as I told you, I think you have all the pieces for uh, for trying to implement this first um, this first example. Thus, uh, I will pause the video and I encourage you to look to solve this, um, this exercise by yourself. And uh, okay, so see you later. Hello, guys, again. And um, this is the solution for the first exercise. Actually, I've, I have added something in this. Uh, in this um, in this exercise, in order to be more IoT oriented, for example, because uh, I am using uh, um, I'm using MQTT for reading uh, the message that are published on a certain topic, which is test. Okay, you should already know how how to um, how to do it. 
anyway it's really easy you connect uh, and you subscribe a certain test and whenever I receive a message um, uh, with the uh, with a topic with a topic that I subscribed uh, I will use I will call this function sent to argument um, function okay this function will do the following um, uh, it okay before maybe we should notice that um, I first need to connect to uh, to the to a third party uh, Algorand node or to connect to my uh, own sandbox if I'm using it or my own node if you want to use the the, uh, the third approach that I didn't describe you before but it's also possible but it, um, I suggest you the sandbox anyway and okay you need to use the the, the address you need to to, to type yes yeah, the, the the address then you need to type uh, your api key that um Pre-Stake provided to you and then you need to connect to uh, our good client okay then you can both either create an account and generating generating an account and from the uh, mnemonic uh, and from the secret key generate a mnemonic that will be preprint or uh, and um, otherwise you can recover your account as I did with my passphrase and uh, so I from my passphrase I um, recovered my account information and I will print my um, address and uh, yes now we are ready for looking what's in sent to high ground in the first function that you see it's this utility that i've created which is wait for money it essentially checks that i have um, enough money to send a transaction and uh, uh, it's really easy i just recovered information related to a certain address and i check uh, its balance which if it's greater than zero I will return this function. Are we going on? Otherwise, I will be I will be stuck. Oh, no, this is not for us. I will be stuck um, um, at this point. Okay. Then I retrieve the parameters. I encoded the message that I have received from uh, from through MQTT. I add it to the to the transaction and uh, I send the transaction to myself actually because I don't want to lose money and with the minimum fee possible and um, I sign this transaction with my secret key and I submit it uh, to uh, to the network okay and then I wait for the confirmation and finally I will recover this um, this this last this transaction that I've just added to the blockchain, uh, I will recover it uh, through uh, this uh, this uh, this um, field here. Okay, to this part here. Let's see how it works. Okay, now my public address is this one. I have subscribed successfully uh, to the to uh, to the test channel and now with this mos uh, mosquito client i will publish this message onto through mqtt okay as you can see now i have received this message uh, through this in this topic i uh, i checked my balance and now i created this transaction which is added in in this block here okay and um, is how it now it is in the blockchain and uh, this is the, the the field the node field in of the transaction uh, i'm publishing just another message and uh, to check it if it's work yes and it works you may notice that um, if you don't believe me that this transaction is in chain, you can also use another explorer, which is a tool that uh, most every um, um, every um, blockchain provides in order to to explore the the, the 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 blockchain. So it's probably running in a different node of mine. Okay, 
the of no, not mine but the third party that uh, I mean, the third party knows that I'm that I'm using and if I look for this transaction you can notice that uh, I am the sender as before and this uh, transaction was added to the chain and uh, let's hope that it can yeah me it doesn't it's not table ah yes because it's encoded to uh, I sent it and code it and I, I am decoding it when I'm retrieving it. Anyway, uh, this is the message, hello, uh, that I've just sent. You can check it if you want. Uh, so, um, this is an ex uh, useful tool. You just need to go to uh, Algorithm Explorer to, um, to um, check uh, whether a transaction or an account uh, it's in the blockchain, which is the state of, of a certain account, and so on. Okay, this was the first example that I wanted to show you. So we wrote in the blockchain. But now I want to do something a bit more, a bit more advanced. Okay, okay. Now uh, since I'm, I'm giving you uh, information, okay, I, I, I'm, giving, I'm I want to realize this uh, this, uh, this example where I, ex I exchange data for money. Okay. In order to do so, I use a useful tool for that Algon provides, which is um, mm. the atomic transfer, which allows us to groups uh, uh, some transactions, to group transactions, and to submit it in uh, as a unit. Okay, and if just one, if uh, in and all transactions that are in these groups uh, need to be valid otherwise um, otherwise this um, this transaction which is actually a group of transaction will fail okay um, it's a, it's a, a more bit advanced uh, scenario but anyway as I said uh, here we have um, this is the, the classic scenario scenario for using uh, atomic transfer and for example let's suppose that this account A is providing data okay within a transaction and an account B is pro, uh, want, um, pays A for uh, their data, okay? We want to combine these two transactions together uh, into one single transaction, which is signed both by A and both by B, okay? And it's sent and um, validate, uh, validated into the, um, from the, in the blockchain um, atomically, okay? The way to do it is really easy, and you can follow this uh, this um, this tutorial here. And in order to do so, you need to um, mm, mm, uh, okay. You need to create two, the two transactions, and another way for creating a transaction different from the one that we have seen before, which is this one here, is to um, um, use this make payment txn, which is a, a, a function a function provided by Algo SDK, where you add uh, at the beginning the address of the the guy who is selling his data, then you add the um, the the address of the guy uh, consuming his data, so that's that is is paying for this data, and then you add the the minimum fee possible that he wants to pay because you want to pay the minimum fee possible then you pay the amount of, of algos that you want to transfer in this case you can set it to zero because um, because uh, we want don't want to transfer money from a from the from the seller to the consumer okay but we want to transfer the money in the opposites in the opposite direction so here you set it to zero then you have um, set it uh, this field as undefined then set this uh, okay this field leave it this field like this and leave this field like this is like before and now you should um, add your um, your your data here okay in order to do so uh, remember uh, use this approach here and uh, uh, with this approach uh, um, you will add your um, data to, uh, to the transaction and now uh, you should add this, uh, these other two parameters and this is the first transaction that you have generated through this 
this function, then in the next uh, you need to create another transaction from the consumer to the seller where you are giving the seller the money for consuming its data and here you set the consumer address here you set the seller address here you set the um, mm, the minimum fee uh, for uh, yeah as, as once and uh, once again the minimum fee that you want to pay here you set uh, um, an amount of algo that you want to transfer from one guy to another okay uh, from the consumer to uh, the seller in this case and set it as you want so you're paying for the data that uh, the, the, the seller is providing you through this transaction and then uh, yes let's leave it as undefined and leave the rest of this transaction like this okay you don't need to change it and uh, okay in this way you have created uh, these two transactions and now you need to um, add them into an array okay it's not written but you need to add them into an array called tx and s okay and, and pass this array tx and s to uh, this function that will that will generate a group id for um, for this uh, group of transaction uh, then you will be able uh, to um, then you need to uh, sign uh, both the transactions okay um, so okay here remember here you had the transaction in it into the array you create a group of uh, a, a group id for this transaction that will be added to the field to, to the to, to the fields of the transactions okay um, it's, it's an information that will be added by this function to each of your transactions composing this group then you need to sign this transaction and uh, in order to do so uh, you should um, use the you, you, you need to create an array and push into, into this array uh, the results of this um, of this um, of this function here that we have already used before for signing a transaction uh, with your private key in this field in this, this this first transaction is signed by the seller which is uh, the guy uh, which is like the owner of this first transaction and then uh, the second transaction is signed by the the consumer which is the uh, owner of the second transaction okay then you need to send this transaction to the uh, to the network once again remember that if you are using um uh, maybe i didn't show you before why we ex so i was explaining this exercise this solution but anyway notice that here i added this post header guy and um, which is uh, this uh, this con this uh, this dictionary here that you need to add to your um, send row transaction uh, function okay this will um, otherwise you cannot uh, send transaction to the, the external node and because he, he, the external node will refuse your 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 message okay so the you add you you send your transaction remember to add here post header and then you check whether your transaction um, is added or not okay i pause it once again the, i pause it once again the, the 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 video and then you you will try okay guys welcome back and um once again here i'm this is the solution for the previous uh, exercise and um, once again here you need to connect to mqtt and wait the same as before so i won't um, um, go further into it you need to connect to your external um, node is your, if you're using it otherwise you can connect to your sandbox and um, then you instantiate you instantiate your client to the to the external node and then uh, here i'm creating two accounts okay 
unselling account and a consumer account and for both of them I'm printing them the, the passphrase okay and then you will um, yeah I, I also print I also log the, the um, selling address and the consumer address then once I receive the message uh, through MQTT I call this function here okay that does all the work okay I essentially pass to him the uh, message and a way that both of the of the account, the selling and the consumer account, um, as money, and um, we will see how to give them money uh, now. And uh, now we will uh, um, create the, uh, once again the the palms, and we will fill the note field, and through the make payment transaction. Uh, function uh, we will create these two transactions that we will combine into uh, this array here we will assign a, a group ID to this uh, set of transactions and then I will use um, I will sign uh, both the transaction with uh, the first with the selling account the second with the consumer account I essentially I remember here uh, I'm don't pay i just pay the fee for submitting the information onto the blockchain here i'm just here i'm paying for the data that uh, this the selling account is providing to the consumer account uh, I, uh, I think that you can do that here i don't discuss because it's trivial and it's to um, to say to save um, into into your file system both the transaction and and uh, if if the consumer and the sellers are into in different machines you can send each other uh, the, the the transaction in order to sign them okay and send them properly so maybe in the first case we have the seller that generates both the transaction and for the second transaction he creates a file that sends to the to the consumer that will uh, read this file and uh, it uh, will sign this uh, this transaction okay he will be able to sign this transaction mm -hmm. okay great and then you can send the transaction um, mm -hmm. Uh, to the chain okay <coughs> and you remember to add the post header and uh, it should work and we will wait for the confirmation okay let's try if it's work if it works here I have the two addresses Oops. And you need to go to uh, he, this link here. This is the dispenser on the testnet. You need to solve this captcha. Mm. And in this first case, I send the uh, I send one algo to this guy here. So that is the seller. And then I will send one hago to this other guy here. You need to reload the page. You need to solve the, the chap, captcha. And here I have sent Argos also to this other guy. Okay. Now I publish to uh, MQTT. I have received it. Both of them have as a balance. And I'm sending this transaction to the chain. And as you can see, now it is confirmed. I can send to consumer more uh, data, like a uh, uh, word also. And here I'm generating another transaction. As you can as you can see, uh, the consumer has a lower balance than than the seller. That means that he he gained money sending its data. Okay, and once again, the our transaction is confirmed. 
and let's check whether this transaction is in the chain also through the explorer mm, I'll go. Okay, notice that we are not using the main transaction anyway it is on the on the main chain but we are using the testnet chain which is for the purposes uh, like ours okay to to okay great so our transactions are on the chain oops sorry i yes yeah yeah and this is the worst thing the one before okay so i sent uh, both the transaction as uh, one transaction as a unit into the chain okay so this is an application that uh, integrates uh, iot with um, with uh, with blockchain with our ground blockchain and um, anyway there are some use actual use cases that uh, are combining IoT and Algorand. Uh, Plant Plant Watch is one of these, and Plant Watch uh, exam will essentially store data gathered from high quality sensor onto the block Algorand blockchain, and subsequently reward contributions to the ecosystem by distributing the Planet token. You can create tokens which are assets. Um, you can, if you want, you can uh, study it. Uh, you can create it easily with uh, with with Algorand, and you can create it also with other blockchain, which is a utility token to sensor owners. Okay, uh, Planet Watch is developing a global network of air quality sensors and environmentally conscious people who install air quality sensors outside their homes or carry sensor while commuting and traveling, with the aim of validating, filtering. And displaying data on the internet through a mobile application in real time. Okay, and so they are the validated validated data will be transcribed on the Algorand blockchain to create an immutable air quality repository accessible to all participants. And sensor owners will receive Planet tokens, as we said before. So this is an example of how uh, of a real uh, use case uh, integrating IoT with Algorand blockchain. And, um, but yeah, if we want, we can also explore the site. This is the site, and this is the white paper. And uh, now, if we can gain more information from here, uh, here they probably mean saying that they the uh, no, yeah, uh, okay, you can you can explore also this document. Uh, if you want, and I um, would like to find a slide. This is CV Migali. All right, you can explore this this uh, this slide for if you want to know more about this project. But anyway, this is a real case scenario, and um, <clears throat> of how integrating hardware with IoT technologies.